basic value. Uh, three things that they can ask us. Eh? They can ask us about the linear pattern. And then it's either they're going to tell us that it's a linear pattern. Or if they don't tell us, we have to prove. For example, if I give you something like this, and then I say, given the following pattern, and then I say you have, and then it's an infinity pattern. And then I don't tell you what kind of a pattern it is. Now, patterns that they can give you in great level, there are three. Number one, it can either be linear. Most of the time they tell us which is a linear pattern. If it's not linear, it can be this one, which is perfect. If it's not linear and quadratic and great level, it can be a combination. Yeah, it's a combination. For, for example, you'll see a combination this way. Let's say I give you something like this. I say you have three, and then I say you have 94, and then I say you have five, I say you have five, and then I say you have 90, and then I say you have seven, and then I say you have eight to two. Now, what's so special about this one here is that T1, T1, T3, T5, which are giving us odd numbers. Can you see the odd positions? Yeah. They're going to inform me this pattern. And then this one, it's T2, it's T4, it's T6. They're going to inform me this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, when I think that they're going to be assessing their two patterns, it's linear or it's quadratic or it's a combination. So it's the it's a combination. Yeah, they can do it. There's no way it's a combination. What is important is that if you check, I mean, like we need to understand now, what is a linear pattern? Yeah. Yeah. A linear pattern has a first common preference. And then the general formula for it, it says this. So this one, it's for B. So what are we talking about B? It has a first common preference. So when you're solving in here, you need to remember this. It has a first common preference. So or you prove to put it in. How do you prove that something is in? You should see this. I think this one subtract this one, it gives us what two. Yeah? And then this one subtract this one, it gives us what two. Then it's a lean by default to take it. Because it has a first common preference. If they didn't tell you. And then the formula that you're going to be using, once it's linear, the only formula that you can use says which TF is going to be equal to Pn plus C. Oh, we can use this one. We can adopt this one. I think we have an information sheet. There is this one that they're using in creation. It says Tn is going to be A plus N minus one multiplied by T, where D is the common difference. A is the first term. Okay. D is the common difference. I agree here, what is the going to be the common difference? So that's two. And it's two. I agree we said five minus three. Five minus three gives us what two. Oh, D. One D will come and put what? Come and then first term, whatever the first term is, I'm going to put it here. So here you have three, and then here you have what? Two. And then after that, you have to solve this thing. I agree with three plus. You have n minus one multiplied by two. Now you need to remove a bracket. How to remove the bracket? This one multiplied by this one, this one multiplied by this one. And then it gives us three. Okay? We don't multiply the truth. And if you say this one multiplied by this one, it gives us plus. Yeah. This one multiplied by this one, it gives us minus two. <laughs> this one and this one now, they are like steps. And then it says that you have two n. If you say this one and this one, it gives us plus. Two. So this is the general theorem. Now, if you don't want to use this one, yeah. remember, we can use this one that we adopted from grade 10. So what have we been using in grade 10? B is the second difference. So if B is the second difference, what are we going to have? Instead of B here, we come and put two. Then what's your formula? It says Cn is going to be equal to 2n plus C. So instead of, every year, B represents the second difference, just like that, D represents the second difference. So here, what is the second difference? The second difference is B. Because it's like your gradient. If it's a straight line, I can read Y is equal to MX plus C. No? M 
is the gradient. So P is like a gradient. Now, you have this thing here. Yeah. You have a coordinate, which is T1. This is T2. This is T3. So you can think of it as, as in a coordinate form. If you, if you are using it as a function, you can think of it this way. When X is 1, term number 1, what is your Y? Your Y is 3. So this is X, term number one, X. And then what, when X is one, term number one, what is it, what is your Y? Your Y is one, it's, it's three. What else do you have? You have, when X is two, what is your Y? Y is five. Okay, you can also say, but now when X is three, what is our Y? Seven. Seven. So to get C, I can use any of these points. I can use this one, I can use this one, I can use this one. Yeah. So, which one should I use? Let's use any other. I don't know. Let's use the first one. So if we use the first one, we're going to have C1, which is going to, instead of N, it's like X, which is going to be 2 multiplied by 1 plus C. But now T1, we know it. X is 1. What is Y? What is the Y value? Well, maybe it's 3. Why would then you come and okay, but now here we have three. So we have three, which is going to be equal to two plus C. Take this one to this other side. It says we have three minus two, which is C. Therefore, our C is going to be one. Right. Then instead of C here, we can come and put it. This is one. Right. It is similar to this one. Yeah. This for you. <laughs> From this for you. Exactly. So when I decide with which one, it's, it's suitable for you. So if they're not asking you linear, what else can they ask you? They can ask you quadratic. What is the difference between linear and quadratic? The answer. formula, it says Tn is equal to A n squared plus B n plus C. No, that's the difference. The general formula for this one, we said it's B n plus C. Yeah. This one, it's A n squared plus B n plus what plus, plus C. Now, if they didn't tell us which is quadratic, how to prove which is quadratic, it doesn't have a first difference. For example, look at this. I think we have 94. We have 90. We have 82. We have 70. So if I say this one, subtract this one. It's 90 minus 94. Mm -hmm. minus four. And then it's 82 minus 90. It gives us minus 8. This one, subtract this one. Minus 12. Minus 12. You can clearly see the first difference. This is the first difference. So the first tip is not the same. Unlike here, the first tip was the same here. As soon as I said this one's a prejudice, this is the first. Tip. So I got two, I got two. So, so just because the first tip is not the same, it doesn't mean it is property. You have to check the second one. It's a 